Book Commander group has descended Nala. We got some trashy stuff like Martin and Grant. You don't need everybody to make it a group trip. You just need the big two. Maybe a life session. Just try to show them how to be big time. Love that. We have a beautiful day for racing. And they're off! We have Willie Robertson. Down right there. It's getting a little long. John Bill Martin. <laughs> Coming in hot. Mr. Luke Bryan. Smoked. Here we go. Oh! Bryan, lay your hands. Oh, the helmet's been thrown. <laughs> we got Mr. Jason Allen. <laughs> For the last few years, our group trips have been getting smaller and smaller. You know, I think it has to do with schedule conflicts. Um, it's really hot here. Sometimes I forget to invite them on purpose. So yeah, for me, it's, you know, it's sometimes hard for me to make it to all the group trips. Some of these guys, you know, don't have jobs. Do we still have group hunts? Every year. Look, you don't need everybody to make it a group trip. I agree. You just need the big two. My man. Well, you're in the stand. Um, my commander group has descended Nala. And by group, I mean me and Tombo. But one person you can always count on being there is Tombo. I mean, Tombo is, I guess the best way to say it, our most available buck man. We got some trashy stuff like Martin and Johnny D. Grant. So it's like a like a coaching session, I like get a life session. We bring the peripheral people out and try to show them how to be big time, I guess. If you see me later, we got one. If you don't, we didn't. That's how it works in TV. Not only are the Buckmen not showing up, we're having a tough time getting camera guys here. There's like B squad, and then there's like deep in the alphabet squad. That's where we're at. This is like J or K. Well, I'm filming myself tonight. Not doing that for the first time, but I am filming myself in a tree for the first time tonight. Martin chose to get filmed by John David, which I'm not sure if that's any better than filming yourself. Shut her off for the inside of here. The easiest thing would probably just be turn it off, and then you can probably see me. Can you? Turn shut her off and open up your iris a little bit, and you should be able to see me. You good? Tell me what's up. Because that's what I've seen Jordan do. Well, first day in Allah, um, I've got the rookie cameraman, Johnny D, with me. That's him, it's his hand. Decided I'm the only one with the patience that could help this, so rather than Tombo kill him and Willie fire him, uh, I'm here. Yeah, you got I know what that is.
left arm has the worst cramp. Oh, God. Oh, well, we cleaned out the trash. That was a good seven. Oh. We got one down. Let him lay, wanted to make sure we could find him. That's what's going Hey, here he is. This is what you call a good old Louisiana cold deer right here. This is not one we want in here. Just a wide seven. Um, just his right side, never matured. Kind of like Benny. You know, we'd seen him on camera, he needed to go. Boys are back up in camp, so we're gonna load them up and roll in there. Hopefully they got some other stuff, so I can't wait to go see. Buck Commander's in town. I'm on the board. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning. Good morning, Jordan. Lights. Good morning, Tombo. Where's an onion so I can throw it at you? Good morning, Good job somewhere else, Langy. Hey, can't you see yeah. grown folks are talking? Well, two and a half. That's true. My confidence level back up. Just a barrage of stuff, man, that's gone on. This season, it seems like if anything could go wrong, it did. But there's always Ola. That's a slump buster. Have oh. you ever got a slump buster or need a slump buster? Ola. This one. Mucho confidence in this one. Oh, yeah, you're done. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day and for waking us up, for letting us sit out here in your beauty. And um, Lord, just thank you for letting us see the sunrise. Thank you for keeping us safe and um, watching over us. Lord, I pray that all that we can do will be to your glory and your service. And um, just thank you for what we get to do. We love you so much in your son's name. Amen. Pretty much the way Tombo hunts is he asks everybody where they want to hunt so he can figure out what he thinks is good based on what other people think. And then he goes right in there, or right by there. Which is what he did this morning. He's right down there. The run is it's not full blown, but they're, they're getting ready to get after it hard. everything that is me. I'm gonna let that deer go. We're pretty much on like call of duty and does. Never fails. Anytime you're on call or doe patrol, guess who's coming out? The one. Big Daddy. Never fails. And this dude comes charging in, I'm not even giving a second thought. I'm shooting him. Shocker. I've been on probation before. I'll do it again. Shocker. You good? Ooh. <laughs> yeah. He's blistered. Ooh, that's a heavy deer. Pretty sure our work's done for this morning. Well, half of it. Wouldn't that be special? I see Grant. Why is he going backwards? He's driving backwards. Because driving forward got boring. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop! Oh yeah, heavy. This deer stepped out, it was a no doubter. I mean, just a massive old eight point, all he was ever gonna be. Definitely mature. We did not expect to see this. I mean, we saw some young deer and- I was gonna go here. You were? Yeah. 
how'd that turn out for you? <laughs> just just blessed to get on the board. I mean, with the with a confident shot. Something to be said about having you know confidence in your weapon. Not that I don't have confidence in the other ones, but we just when you spend enough, you spend as much time as we did shooting it, and this is what happens. Confidence turns into dead deer and back straps. He didn't take it too far. What are some of Grant's duties as GM? To take out the trash at the office? No. Grant's role has never been totally defined. So we all kind of treat Grant as our own personal assistants. He's kind of, he's kind of brought this on himself. As a matter of fact, Grant is so good that I'm gonna give all you guys the opportunity to have your own personal assistant also. So if you could take this down, that is Grant Taylor's cell phone number. Enjoy. Who do I think hunts more, Grant or Tombo? I don't know. I feel like Grant hunts more than anybody now, right? I mean, I wasn't going to say it first, but I'll, I'll second that. Who's got the bag? I mean, he's here, he's there, he's everywhere. He put about 60,000 miles on his truck just going hunt to hunt. So he's not got to where he's hunting so much, he's getting his pilot's license. Now he's just going to fly from state to state. I think Grant is very capable of flying. I think he's going to be a great pilot. Would I fly with him? No. Chances of me getting in a plane with Grant are slim to not a chance in hell, right? That's about it, yeah. That's a great deer, man. Get great frame on him. Yeah. Good wide. I mean, he's short time. He's not a. He's not a scorer, but nice, nice ten point. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. This old boy came in here last light. He couldn't wait. A few more minutes, and it cost him. That right there is a Louisiana Bruiser. What a good buck. That will get you fired up. One question we have to ask ourselves, Jacob. How's he getting hauled out of here? All I have is a super-sized grocery getter. Think we can get him on the hood? Fix me a hoof and a heave. Should have brought my dang luggage rack. I knew this was gonna happen eventually. How am I gonna get him up there? 
you just try to kind of land him right there. One, two, three. No. One, two, three. Here's the deal. When you have friends that are big and strong and have pickup truck beds, rather than trying to stretch them up onto the hood, just call them. Hold on a second. Get up here. Hold on, just hold him and then let me. Oh, I got him. Don't worry about him, sir. Okay. Don't worry about the mule. Just load the wagon. Let's see. Everybody else is out running trail cameras, checking stands, putting out feed. I'm just fishing. This is what I do. Martin is our GM of Duck Commander. Now, Martin is a is a lifetime outdoorsman i mean if you can catch it or shoot it i mean he has done it but deer hunting is not one of his top things yeah it wouldn't be no stretch to say i ain't much of a deer hunter i mean it's on the bottom of the barrel for him like uh, it would be down there with uh, exercise or vegetables there's two ducks up here somewhere that i'm not real sure what they are i want to get a closer look at them too not that it's duck season, I just kind of want to know. Ooh, we on the board. Fancy pants. Hit that sucker, wouldn't it? Good night. Whoa! How about that? Boy, oh, howdy. Now if we just kill a big deer, we got, a, we got something going now. See you, little buddy. Get on out of here. No worse for wear. Look at him. But Martin likes a good deer hunt, as long as it doesn't interfere with duck season. Let's go deer hunting. We'll use largemouth bass as cover scent. I like it. Oh, baby. No bloodhounds on this one. All we gotta do is go get him. You know what? We're just getting it. <laughs> That's awesome. Good grief. All right, well, there's that. This ain't gonna be real difficult, I don't believe. Oh my lord. Look at the blood, Jordan. Holy cow. Oh, there he is. 
there's something up under this brush top. What'd you go and do that for? Oh my goodness. That's awesome, man. That, that deer. The biggest thing I've ever killed. He's been rubbing trees this morning. Look at all this stuff up in it. Cedar tree or pine tree, something. Good night. <laughs> I'm fired up now. I may become a deer hunter after all. <laughs>